Then Jesus said, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah. Then Jesus said to them, if you cannot understand the meaning of this parable, how will you understand all the other parables? The farmer plants seeds by taking God's words to others. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or have been or are persecuted for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life. The lure of wealth and the desire for other things so no fruit is produced. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and Amen. produces a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Can mm. you share? Mm -hmm. Can you share? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm sure everybody that's watching this fucking video doesn't know me at all. Oh, but I'm sorry for saying the word F. Um, Say what you want about. My Lord is wonderful and good. Uh, me and Terry are about the most legal lights, least likely <laughs> hook up ever. Right. Um, you know what? Just tell them about you. Look, it's I'm on 27 The Booger. I'm from Chicago. I'm from home. Um, I stayed in the coma for over three years. I have done a lot of horrible things. And you know what? Here's the deal. Fuck all that. I mean, fuck tell me who I am. Who I am. You know what? I'm a Luciano. Look me up. Give a shit. <laughs> Here's what I know for sure. I was in the coma for over three years. I died. Look at your Bible. Read it. Find it. Because here's what I know. I now live in Nashville and I live in the south side of Chicago for my entire life. If you look me up, you'll see me. Nothing that I did matters. Evolve, grow, have peace, find the God that you need to find because there's only one. He is our creator. He's our creator. And you know what? Even his kid had to find him because he was going to smoke us. And Jesus Christ came and took a fucking bullet for me, for you, and everyone else. I spent over 12 years in Stateville Penitentiary. Uh, like I said, look me up. Don't give a shit. The world has been kind. Um, I died for three years. I spent two years in the recovery. And, uh, you know, and I'm healthy and whole. And I have the honor of being here. I thought you wanted one in the box, Tim. What? I thought you wanted one in the box. He I do. There. He back there. All right. I got to go get a box. God bless. It's all good. That's crap. It's all good. Hey. Hey, he didn't tell you no lies. No, no, I want So, the thing that you need to get the most from what we talked about is that there's one God, and his name is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, God. That's it. He's the man. Period, point blank, I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. Look, try God. You won't try nothing else. Be blessed.